How you guys? Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. All right, all right, all right. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. Two girls and two boys. I love you guys. I miss you. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. Live at 8. Yes. Okay. I have a nice book that I'll be reading to you on this Educational Tuesday. We're going to talk about weddings. Uncle Eli's wedding. Shout out to my cousins, Reggie and Crystal, who just got married November 11th. Yes. Shout out to you guys. Yeah. So I'm going to read about Eli, Uncle Eli's wedding. I wanted to show a picture of their wedding because it was such a beautiful wedding, but I wasn't able to reach them to get permission. So guess next time. This book is written by Tracy Newman, pictures by Sir Nur Isaac. Sir Nur Isaac. Hopefully I am pronouncing it correctly. So Uncle Eli's wedding. I'm just going to jump right into this book. And I know you guys are going to click that like button and click that share button. I know you guys are going to go to YouTube, look for Audrey's reading area, and you're going to smash that subscribe button for me, right? All right, all right, all right. So let me just jump right in. Uncle Eli's wedding. So, Daniel tugged at his tie. When would this wedding start? I should be on the field with Uncle Eli, he thought. But Uncle Eli was inside getting ready. Daniel spied a ball across the lawn. He dribbled, kicked the ball, and wham, slammed it into the bushes. Goal, Daniel whooped, sliding into, onto his knees. Goal. Bob Tilly hurried to Daniel. Oi, are you hurt? Bob Millie scurried to Daniel. Oi, so much dirt. Daniel brushed off his suit. I was doing fancy footwork. Uncle Eli's been too busy with wedding stuff to coach me. Daniel blasted the ball again. After Uncle Eli marries Lila, we may never play together. How can we be a team anymore? Hmm. Uncle Eli ran onto the lawn. It's time, we're starting. The rabbi called out to him, who's signing your wedding contract? I'll do it, Daniel offered. Uncle Eli ruffled Daniel's hair. Sorry, champ. Only adults can sign a ketubah. But I promise before the ceremony ends, we'll find something special to do together. So, wow, this is educational and multicultural. Cool, right? Daniel followed Uncle Eli into a little room. People surrounded Lila fussing over her. Bob Tilly's eyes gleamed. Look at Kala, the radiant bride. Bob Millie's face beamed. Yes, I am quelling, bursting with pride. Daniel kicked some rose petals toward Lila. I guess you can't watch my footwork now. Sorry, buddy, Lila apologized, but I know Uncle Eli will find something special to do with you in a little while. Bob Tilly decreed, Bubla, Bubla, sit. There's no time to play. Bub, or Bub, Bub Millie agreed. Aunt Lila's too busy for footwork today. She's not my aunt yet, Daniel grumbled. The rabbi tapped Uncle Eli's shoulder. Time to lower the bride's veal. Bubba Tilly gushed. How divine. Lace so fine. Bub Millie blushed. See her shine. 
That was mine. Uncle Eli unping, unpinned the filmy veil. Daniel giggled, giggled. He covered her face. Bub Till hushed. Shh. Bub Millie sh shushed. Hush. After the guests sat and the music began to play, Lila waited with Daniel behind a curtain. Ready to take your turn, she asked. Daniel nodded and took off down the long carpeted aisle like he was about to score a goal. Bub Tilly said, whoa, boy chick. Bub Millie pled, slow, boy chick. Panting, Daniel reached the front of the room. The rabbi and three other men clutched poles. Bub Tilly cooed, that chupa chupa, like a beautiful tent. Bub Millie a uh, ood, those flowers, a magnificent scent. Who's going to hold this chupa pole, the rabbi asked. Forgive me if I am mispronouncing these words. Daniel jumped, me! Sorry, champ, Uncle Eli said, you're not tall enough. So I gave that job to someone, to some, some special grown-ups. But I promise soon we'll do something special together. He's trying to help at the wedding, right? The rabbi spoke. Daniel wiggled. Bub Tilly cried. The rabbi sang. Daniel jiggled. Bub Millie sighed. I guess one is Tilly and one is Millie. Finally, Uncle Eli stepped forward. Is the wedding over, Daniel asked? Eli needs to break the glass. That's the best part, said Bub Tilly. Such a happy moment. It really warms my heart, said Bub Millie. That's not fair, Daniel sniffled. We didn't do anything special together. A tear, aw, slipped from Daniel's eye as the rabbi placed a napkin folded over a glass on the floor. Uncle Eli tried to break it and fumbled. Bub Tilly cheered, crack it, shatter it. Bub Millie volunteered, whack it, batter it. What's wrong? Why couldn't Uncle Eli break the glass? Daniel jumped up to join Uncle Eli and Lila under the chupa footwork he coached. Uncle Eli looked at Daniel. Daniel looked at Lila. Lila looked at Uncle Eli. What do you guys think is going to happen next? Let's see. Lila nodded. Here's your chance, she whispered to Daniel. Something special with Uncle Eli. Daniel reached for Uncle Eli's hand. Together they lifted their feet and together smash, crash, bam. They broke the glass. Cheery Bub Tilly called Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Cheery Bub Millie bawled Mazel Tov. Daniel took the, br the bride and the groom's hand. Go team. Mazel Tov. Bub Tilly waved. A simcha, so sweet. Bub Millie raved. Such nachas, let's eat. So they have a note from the author, the end, you guys. They are married, the end. And there is a note from the author and they have a few keywords that you might hear at a Jewish wedding. So this is a Jewish wedding. So the note from the author says, weddings are always joyous occasions, no matter how they are celebrated. I have been fortunate enough to attend Jewish weddings in locations 
as ver as varied as a beach in Mexico, a synagogue in my hometown, a French chateau, an Italian restaurant, and even my own wedding in a college alumni clubhouse. All of these diverse venues have been perfectly kosher. Although Jewish weddings may differ widely on where they take place, most include a ketuba, a chupa, and the always festive, but often stress-inducing moment when the groom smashes a glass in front of everyone. And afterward, a Jewish wedding celebration ends with lively music, dancing, and delicious food. A note from the author. So I am going to read these words to you and what they mean. So you can pause as I read. Ba Badekin is the veiling of the bride by the groom that takes place before the start of the marriage ceremony. So he puts the veil on. Okay. Chaten or Chatan is the Hebrew word for groom. Chupa or chupa is the wedding canopy that creates a symbolic, private, and holy, yet visibly open space for the bride and groom, and which symbolizes the home that the new couple will create. Kind of cool, right? Hora, ora, a popular dance that often takes place during a wedding celebration and may continue for an extensive medley of Jewish music. Kala, the Hebrew word for bride. So the Hebrew word for groom is chatan, and the Hebrew word for bride is kala. Ketuba means the wedding contract that is signed by the bride and the groom and witnessed by friends or family before the marriage ceremony. Aw, the end. They have a cute little picture of him and his nephew, Uncle Eli and his nephew. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's another note from PJ Library, Jewish Concepts. I guess I'll read that for you guys. It says, marriage has always been central to Jewish life as the basis of the Jewish family. It is, in turn, the cornerstone of the Jewish community. In the first book of the Torah, God announced it is not good for man to be alone. Genesis 2, verse 18. Today, a few occasions are more joyous than a Jewish wedding. As we see in this book, Jewish wedding rituals are filled with symbolism and rich traditions. Hmm. On the day of the wedding, a marriage contract in Hebrew ketubah is signed. Whether the wording is traditional or updated, this document is usually beautifully decorated, often with calligraphy and hand painting, and many couples display it in their home. A chupa or chupa marriage canopy represents the home the couple will share. The canopy is often a keepsake, the talit prayer shawl of a loved one or a special quilt. The chupa is open on all sides to signify the value of hach nasat or chim, welcoming guests into their home. Perhaps the most commonly known aspect of a Jewish wedding happens at the instant when the groom breaks a glass underfoot. For some, this may represent the destruction of the second temple of, in Jerusalem, or it can serve to remind the couple to remain steadfast during challenging times. In any case, it is a dramatic moment that prompts everyone to shout Mazel Tov, which means congratulations. So Mazel Tov, congratulations. Mazel Tov to you, Reggie and Crystal. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. T-O-V, mazel tov. That means congratulations. You learn something new every day. And I learn just like you guys are learning. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here and listening to me read this exciting wedding book. And again, shout out and congratulations to mazel tov. 
to my cousin Reggie and his beautiful bride, Crystal. Beautiful wedding. I wish I could have shown the picture, but I didn't reach them in time to get permission to show their picture on here. Maybe someday I'll probably get another wedding book. We'll see. Shout out to my mom. Thanks mom for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, all that love and support, I love it. Thank you all for clicking a like. Thank you all for sharing my video and posting it on your page, mom YouTube, thank you. Thank you all for, um, yes, going to YouTube, right? Looking for Audrey's reading area, bam, Audrey's reading area and smashing that subscribe button, you hear that? Smash that subscribe button for me, you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, all right. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, right? Live, L-I-V-E, live at eight. Right? Don't be late. Live at eight, don't be late. I'm a poet and I know it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you again tomorrow here at Audrey's Reading Area.